Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Monday, the 29th day of May. It's National 529 Day. And 529 is a program where people can save money for college like for their grandkids or their children. So I think that's uh, kind of cool that they're celebrating that today. International Day of UN Peacekeepers. National co q Avin Day today. National Paperclip Day. <laughs> and then it's also... Uh, it's Kaka Veen, which is, oh, which is chicken and wine. Oh, is that what that is? Chicken and a wine sauce, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot better the way... You, can you say it again? Kaka Veen? And it's Memorial Day. That's the most important one on there. I didn't mispronounce that. So. Oh, what? what did I call it again? That was way off. You uncultured swine. <laughs> you, you never take me anywhere. <laughs> and typically on Mondays, we do a thing called Movie Star Monday. For the first time in years, we're not doing a Movie Star Monday. It's not that we couldn't because I had several people we could talk to, but I'm talking to a military star instead today. It's Memorial Day. So Military Star Monday with Hazard Lee. He is an amazing pilot, and he's the author of a new book, The Art of Clear Thinking. We'll chat with him coming up. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's better creditcards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. More than half of employees say they're stressed at work every day, according to a poll. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, with that in mind, it's good to know there's an effective, scientifically proven tool we can use in our daily lives to combat that feeling. It's called tequila. Just kidding. No, I'm, <laughs> I added that part. It's called micro breaks. Researchers consistently show that if we can build time to reset and recharge we can interrupt the sort of cumulative stress that leads to burnout. I absolutely agree with that. Recent North Carolina State University study found that employees' energy increases after a five-minute break. And they did the likelihood, and so did the likelihood, rather, that they would set and achieve their work goals better. Another study found that call center workers who took micro breaks experienced a mood boost that translated into better performance. Even a short break between meetings can help employees stay focused and energized, stop cumulative stress from building up, and give workers' brains a chance to reset. I love it. With that, we're going to take a break. Survey, and studies, and such, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know the average person spends more than an entire work week a year simply purchasing beverages like coffee at the cafe during work? According to a new survey, poll of on-site employees found it takes about 16 minutes to leave your desk, buy a drink, and return. With three trips a week, three trips a week is all they think people take? More like one a day at least. I would say probably three a day. Anyway, with only three a week, the employee ends up losing about 50 working hours a week. I'm sorry, 50 working hours a year. The money spent on beverages also adds up. The At Work Cafe, the American average American buys about two and a half drinks, totaling $16 a visit. That's $2,800 a year. I'm way below $16 a visit? Yeah, for two drinks. So it's $8 a, oh, a, a visit, uh, $8 a drink. That's a lot. That's why we make our own coffee around here. And Heidi won't let me make it as strong as I want. So we have weak coffee around here. <laughs> just kidding. She just gave me a dirty I look. I actually <laughs> like strong coffee. I, I don't know what you're talking I was, I was about. Scooping coffee grounds in there one day. You're like, how many coffee grounds do you Well, because the, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make the coffee. Uh -huh. I buy strong coffee, so oh. you don't have to do that. Well, now we know. <laughs> we don't know everything, but now we know this. And we know that. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Don't expect to see Arnold Schwarzenegger turning in, turning up in any future Terminator movies. A Hollywood reporter 
uh, profiled the strong man, saying while the movie series was largely responsible for his career, uh, they said that that's not something he would be interested in doing yeah, another one. Yeah, he's done at with age those now. General Hospital star Haley Poulos was arrested for an alleged DUI in California. That's a shame. That is. Uh, and the rest of our stories here, both of them, are about Kim Kardashian. She's looking ahead with some good grades behind her, no pun intended. Uh, Kim K. got straight A's on her latest law school midterms. How oh, cool is that? Nice. Uh, she was promoting her latest shapewear pop-up in New York on the Today Show, and they were talking about that, that she got a 95% and a 100%. And Kim K. Kardashian admits that parenting is one of the most challenging things in her life. Sometimes she cries herself to sleep because wow. the chaos involved in her having to, you know, a parent these having to children be a parent. with all of these nannies and people. Yeah, exactly. Home. Imagine how stressed she'd be if she didn't I'm have that. Good. I'm just putting poor that. Poor thing. That part's not in the story. I added that. The poor so, thing. Moms, dads out there, you're doing great. Big screen, little screen brought to you by insurancechicken.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. If it's your thing to sleep in on the weekends in an effort at making up for sleep loss during another hectic work week, I have some bad news for you. That does not Doesn't work. work. Dr. Lindsay Browning, who's a neurologist, psychologist, and a sleep expert, talk about an overachiever, <laughs> says being sleep deprived and then relying on the weekend to recover may help in the short term, but in the long run, the extra rest actually creates a false sense of recovery. What's more, trying to catch up on the weekend may make things worse. She oh. says that research has shown that it can take up to four days to recover from one hour of lost sleep and up to nine days to fully recover from sleep deprivation. So I think a lot of this depends on how much sleep deprivation. Like if you're up all night, all day, all night, that that's one thing. But they're saying just one hour, staying up one hour later, it takes four days to catch up. I might quite possibly be superhuman. Because it doesn't take me Or you may just be a zombie, which I think is probably more the case. And that probably explains why you can't Mm, focus. Brains. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) And swapping that soda for a diet soda or adding sweetener to your coffee may not be the best choice for weight loss after all. Really? Did did we need a study for this? I thought this was coming up. I think we knew this a long time ago, The World Health Organization, the WHO, has released new guidelines warning us not to use non-sugar sweeteners for weight loss because it may do more harm than good, according to them. New findings show that artificial sweeteners like aspartame, a sugar substitute found in Diet Coke, don't do much to reduce your waistline. A long-term use of these things, uh, they're called fake sugars, could increase your risk of type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and even death. So steer clear of all of that if you can. I have been drinking a ton of water lately. Big fan of just water, 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 water. Yeah, yeah. With some flavor. But I don't like the flavored water. Yeah, I uh, squirt some. we should read your flavor yeah, things. There may be somewhere. aspartame in those. I hope not. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. InsuranceChicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to InsuranceChicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at InsuranceChicken.com. That's InsuranceChicken.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show on Memorial Day. Typically, we do a thing called Movie Star Monday each week. This is the first Monday we've not done Movie Star Monday in many, many, many years, but it's Military Star Monday today because it's Memorial Day, and I have one of the greatest fighter pilots in Air Force history joining us today, and he's also got a brand new book out, Hazard Lee, and the book is called The Art of Clear Thinking, A Stealth Fighter Pilot's Timeless Rules for Making Tough Decisions. Hazard, first of all, thank you for your service, and thank you for taking 
taking time today to visit with us. Thank you. It's my pleasure, and it's great to be on. So, Hazard, when did you join the Air Force, and how long did you serve? So I joined the Air Force back in 2005, and I uh, served active duty until 2000. Uh, 20, and then I've been a reservist ever since. And with the background as a fighter pilot, you understand how important it is to be able to make a split-second decision in some situations. Yeah, absolutely. So we are flying incredibly fast in these fighters. So I, so we're on, it's, the closure rates are on average a mile every three seconds. I talk in the book about flying Mach 2, twice the speed of sound, and feeling heat coming off the canopy, taking my glove off, and I could feel the heat radiating through it because the friction from the air was so great. So we're making thousands of decisions each flight off of information and lives on the line. So boiled down, my job is to make decisions. So that's something that applies to everybody. We're all making decisions out there. And the Air Force does an incredible job of being able to take somebody who's never flown before. And within just a couple of years, they're flying combat missions on the other side of the world. The speed of business is probably not as fast as the speed that you're used to in the Air Force, but the speed of business is increasing because of things like AI and all kinds of amazing tools. It's speeding up quickly. You know, that's a great point. So essentially, as a fighter pilot, I am flying uh, in the seat of technology that allows me to be thousands of times more capable than I could be on my own. But we're all experiencing that. Your phone allows you to do far more than you could in the past. Same with your computer. Uh, out of Silicon Valley, there are reports that they're expecting the next billion dollar company to be run by three or fewer people because of AI. So there's a big parallel between being a fighter pilot and the business world right now. Now, Hazard, I'm going to be honest here. As I was getting ready for this interview, I saw in the notes that I could ask you about this subject. We won't spend a lot of time talking about it, but it said I could ask you about UFOs. I've always been fascinated by that topic for some reason. Uh, you know, I've been flying uh, for quite some time, and you do see things that you don't know what their origin is and what they're doing. But have I ever seen aliens? I don't think so. I think it's almost like a road trip when you see a glint of light out in the distance. You're like, what is that? But we're so focused on the mission when we're flying missions that uh, that you don't have time to go inspect everything. So I'm sure there are a lot of weather balloons and things like that as we've seen the last uh, couple of months. But as far as aliens, I, I've never seen any flying saucers. I like that you mentioned that. When you were flying, you kind of stayed focused on the mission. You didn't get distracted by these other things. In business, that probably is a really good example as well because so many times we have things that pop up throughout the day that distract us and take our focus away from what we should be doing. Absolutely. We're inundated with so many notifications, meeting invites uh, these days that it's tough to get the work done. And that's one of the concepts in the book is charting importance versus urgency. If you're just able to do that, you're able to increase your prioritization by over 60% because of a, a concept called the urgency effect. We're really sucked into uh, to urgent things, people trying to get our attention as opposed to focusing on the deep work that will get us to our goals. Now, when you were writing this book, I'm assuming you didn't write this for other fighter pilots. That would be a very narrow market. Who is this book really designed for? Yeah, it's designed for people in business. It's really designed for anybody to get something out of it. So I, I you're right. I, I kept it outside of the stealth fighter pilots. I wanted people to be able to, to learn and make better decisions. It's a critical skill that we all need to learn how to do, and it's really not taught in schools. So there is a good structured framework for it. But I've been really surprised. The book just came out. It's a bestseller on uh, Barnes & Noble, number one bestseller on Amazon. Really, veterans have been uh, uh, getting it for Memorial Day. Uh, people have been buying it for people, new graduates with graduations around the corner and uh, for Father's Day. So being a fighter pilot quite a lot like being a father, not much sleep. You have to make important decisions, and there's a lot of incomplete information. So I've been surprised by that. I love it. It's like a how-to guide. So if you're in business or if you're in any situation where you need to make decisions quickly, this might be the book for you. Hazard, thank you again for taking the time to chat with us today. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be on. It was absolutely my honor. Again, Hazard Lee, arguably one of the greatest fighter pilots in Air Force history, and he's the author of the new book, The Art of Clear Thinking, A Stealth Fighter Pilot's Timeless Rules for Making Tough Decisions. It's available now. I have a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At bettercreditcards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? 
Other names considered for the seven dwarfs. <laughs> oh, here we go. First of all, can you name all seven dwarfs? No. Me neither. Seven dwarf names that didn't make the list. Snoopy was one. Dippy, Blabby, Woeful, and Flabby. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> I wonder why those didn't make the cut. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. Wow, yeah, B. I mean, just, that's not good. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In France, bees were found to make green and blue honey. The Beekeepers Association oh, discovered cool. that it was a result of bees eating sugary waste from a nearby M and M's factory. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Another fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? All babies are colorblind when born. I did not know that, and I don't know how they knew that. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Apples are 25% air. Huh. Okay. I didn't realize that. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at genesisgoldira.com that's genesisgoldira.com time now for the mint mobile question of the day it comes your way courtesy of mintervention.com a question for you heidi 34 percent of u.s households have one of these in their kitchen we don't have one but i wanted to what is it a paper towel holder no television Oh yeah. yeah! Above our refrigerator, yeah. You a wanted spot. that too. You also like, oh, wanted hey. this fancy paper towel holder. Oh, yeah. I was like, no, we don't. No, I, I don't know that I, I want. I saw that. one online. It's like you wave your hand and it spits paper yeah. towels at you. <laughs> I was like, I think I need this. Mint <laughs> Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Here's the latest bizarre food mashup. Tell me what you think of this. Velveeta, known for the melty goodness of golden cheese, right? although it's not real cheese, has gotten together with a chocolate company oh. to create the first ever chocolate cheese truffle. Given the name Truffles, because it's velvet, Velveeta, chocolate rather. Cheese truffles. Truffles. These truffles combine cheese and chocolate using... Sweet white chocolate coupled with Velveeta cheese. The truffle takes on the iconic custom shell shape and is fused with Velveeta molten cheese sauce. Oh. So, Comparte's Chocolatier and Velveeta working together to make something nobody asked for. So, yeah. Does that sound like something you'd like to try? Uh, no. You, if I, <laughs> no, if I brought really one of doesn't. these to you, you wouldn't even taste it? Well, I'd probably taste it. Okay, it's so chocolate. open the drawer over there. Take a look in the. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been cool, though? Uh, no. All right. Weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Five foods that are surprisingly good for your heart. Watermelon. I didn't know that. Can protect vascular function if you consume a lot of sugar thanks to amino acids so they're saying if you're eating a lot of sugar you should have a lot of watermelon with mm, that i like watermelon so i'm um, fine with kale that. yeah had to be kale yeah. leafy greens <laughs> blah 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 kale, i do not kale, like blah. kale that's no, one that i you know just what? can't in your zupa recipe that's the only way i like kale right i do yeah. put it but it's yeah. just kind of mixed drown in drown it with enough soup you don't you, you don't yeah need <laughs> oats they uh also lower bad ldl cholesterol they're good for you avocado contains healthy fats which help protect your heart and dark chocolate you might have heard this before but it's high in flavonoids which is fun to say say flavonoids flavonoids doesn't that sound like a superhero's arch nemesis <laughs> <sighs> foiled by flavonoids <laughs> it's found in leaf tea leafy vegetables and citrus fruits like uh, other things but it's all part of dark chocolate so there you go five foods surprisingly good for your heart
InsuranceChicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to InsuranceChicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at InsuranceChicken.com. That's InsuranceChicken.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Every time I have a quote from him, I say how much I love him. Stephen Wright. Yeah. I really do love Stephen Wright. We do a lot of his. And we might have even done this one before. I've heard it before. So you tell me if you've heard this before. Quote is, you can't have everything. Where would you put it? <laughs> have we, have we, we have haven't that? done that one before. Haven't? Okay. Yeah, I've heard that. And I, I love it. He's got such a great sense of humor. And his delivery is just so... Right. Just like it's dry, but but in a good way. Yeah. All right. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Now I'm going to go on YouTube and find some Stephen Wright jokes. <laughs> John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi show is brought to you by the John and Heidi show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way, courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. I love this story. Ingram, oh, I guess I'll read the headline. ICSO deputies use life-saving efforts to save an infant. I love this. Uh, deputies used a life-saving CPR on a two-month-old baby who was Jeez. not breathing when they arrived on the scene. May 13th is when this happened. Deputies responded to a, a, a township nearby in the community that they serve involving an infant who was not breathing and had no pulse. So first of all, just to put yourself in the uh, shoes. I couldn't even imagine. Can't imagine either. I can't imagine being the one that had to call and say that on, on the 911 call or the person getting that call going, oh, think of what is expected of me when I get there. Yeah. But they get there. The deputies perform CPR until the infant began to breathe again on his own. The department shared dramatic body cam footage of wow. the rescue on their Facebook page. And if you'd like to see that, I have a link to it. it. says, he didn't have any signs of life. He was pale. He was not moving. And he did not have a pulse. Oh, my gosh. One of the first responders on the scene is the one that said all of that. Uh, it's a Sergeant Slack. He said, I had a million thoughts run through my head. And it was a crazy emotional charge situation to deal with. At the time, Matthew Carlson didn't think he would see his son again, but 15 minutes of CPR and the child began breathing oh. on his own. It's an incredible feeling like no other. It's a feeling I never never thought I would have again. It's a feeling Paige never thought she would have again. That's the wife. And the, now the baby, Laker is the baby's name, is recovering. And all Laker, because, that's kind of a cool name, yeah, isn't it? All because these uh, officers were able to get there and do what they do. And the amazing thing is, this story... It makes me feel really good to hear this. This happens mm -hmm. hundreds, maybe thousands of times a day. Maybe not this exact thing. But every time there's a 911 call, there's a hero who responds to that, a first responder. That God goes bless out and our first responders. That's it is just amazing. Amazing. And they deserve a lot more credit for what they do. You Absolutely they do. do. Time and a lot Heidi. more respect for what I, they do. I agree completely. I've got a link to that in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.